Hi. Hello. Happy, Hello. Happy St. Hello, Patrick's people. Day for those of you who uh, celebrate that. Right. Which is most people, I think. You don't have to be Irish to do that. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like just a what just happened? Get off of there. Okay. Uh, yeah, so anyway, we wanted to come on today because yesterday was the one year anniversary. I just spoke in an accent. That was weird. One year anniversary of the quarantines last year, March 16th, was when we had to close the dojo for two weeks. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, to get the COVID situation under control. Well, that worked. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, times 12. <laughs> yeah, here we are a year later. So we were closed, many of you know, we were closed for four months and then reopened in July. And then we've been going, you know, since. And things yes. have gone, I, I'd say, exceedingly well, considering, right? Wouldn't you? Yes, I think because we, we gave a lot of thought to the protocols and made sure that we followed the guidelines and then people who came back or have been back or are continuing to come back respect those guidelines and so you know the dojo remains you know is thriving and remains uh i don't know maybe we can get some coke money out of that. <laughs> um anyway yeah right so we uh developed some safety measures based on all of the stuff we saw at that moment and uh put it put it through it together and it's been working pretty good and i think generally the community appreciates the fact that we're um you know we've done all these things i mean i know i get it everybody wants to train normally that yes of course of course but hey it's a pandemic the other thing is Plus, uh, uh, i think there's a new normal you have to get used to whether you like it or not for, Up here. for a while <laughs> Well, you know, it doesn't make a lot of sense for us to preach mindfulness and being able to adapt to situations and overcome. And then and, not adapt. <laughs> and then not do that. Don't set the example with that. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's that's definitely part of it. Um, I think I can talk, speak for both of us when I say that over the last year, or I guess especially since we reopened, what is that, eight months? Right? Yeah. You know, um, I have gained new insight into all of the martial arts that we do because being forced to come up with different ways to train and, you know, come at things from a different angle and all of that. And, uh, you know, I've learned in the process and uh, I I say this a lot, but, you know, there isn't a week week that goes by where I don't learn, learn something about every martial art that we do. And I and this this year I was thinking about it yesterday. Like we've we've been forced to develop new training methods and drills and and all of that. And and so some good will come out of this, you know. Like and, and we have better insight and understand the martial arts we do better. So those are those are good things. I mean, I I realize there's a lot of bad things about the, the pandemic, you know, some tragic things, but but there's it's it's not all bad, you know. You can you can take some good from it. You, you have say? to take the good from it because if you don't, then it's too sad and overwhelming. It's kind of depressing. Because there are things that about it that have been very sad and very overwhelming, and hopefully, you know, hopefully, um, you know, not that many of you have had to deal with direct tragedy or that sort of thing, but. There's millions of people who have, and so we want to be mindful of that. But like Sensei Mark said, we need to push forward, and I believe that my martial arts has improved in spite of the pandemic, or maybe because of, I don't know. You know, um, it's kind of all intertwined, and definitely it's been a mental challenge, but I think that that's where the most growth can happen if you set yourself to it um you know it's 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 not easy and we all have our moments where we don't want to wear the mask anymore or we don't you know you just uh, it's just it's tiring it's a grind but it is what it is and you have to kind of accept acceptance i think is a big part of 
of what, what this whole past year hopefully has helped people develop more of because there's things you can change, there's things that you can't change, and you need to accept the difference and move forward within the parameters that you're you're given in and, your life. And just make the best of your situation. Let's talk about adversarial growth for a second. <laughs> Many people are familiar with post-traumatic stress disorder when your people go through difficult situations or traumatic situations. They can be, it can hit them really hard and it can be super, super difficult. You know, and that's and that happens. However, there is something the opposite of that can happen, where you, when you face with a difficult situation or trauma, you can actually be get motivated and become driven to do well in spite of that. Hold on, sweetheart. Um, and I think Connie's talking to the dog right he is, now. Yes, he's asking to go. And um, so try to do that. Try to become stronger from this difficulty and and get have new insight and, and be happy in spite of it. You know what I mean? It's yeah, yeah, it can be challenging, I get it. But it's a better way to go if you can do it, you know. Um, don't get try not to get bogged down in negativity, you know. And it's not easy, but we all have a choice to make, and uh, we all have a tendency towards certain uh, affects and certain ways to view point of views and ways to view our life. But I think you have to do your best to choose the positive, the the growth, and that kind of thing. Um, you know, and surround yourself with people who will encourage you to do that and reinforce you to do that, and that sort of thing. You know. But no, no one can do it for you. You know, um, we can That's talk and say this and encourage you, but really, the bottom line is you have to take those steps. You have to switch, switch what's happening, your point of view in your head if it's been less than positive, and uh, keep, you know, put one foot in front of the other, you know, and right. keep keep going. Setting setting a routine for yourself is very important in that way. You know, just stick, setting a routine that, that you, that's going to help you and then stick to it. You know, um, let's talk about going forward. Like, so the future, I, I'm, you know, the vaccines have, uh, are going well, I think. Um, the number uh, metrics for COVID are going down. So in all likelihood, we will start to open up even more than we are right now. Um, and, re, you know, slowly return to... Um, more normal training, like partner drills and, and rolling and sparring and all that. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's going to take a little, just a little bit more patience, I think, uh, because we're getting close now. And, and yes, we, we want that, you know, but, um, um, you know. Oh, I mean, a perfect example is people, more people are getting vaccinated, more people feel more comfortable, the nice weather's coming, it's, you know, people going outside. However, you, you have to still follow, you know, wearing a mask and that sort of thing because in Berkshire County, there has been a small uptick, so we don't want that to happen. So we have to meet overall, things are definitely improving and definitely getting better, but the vaccines, you, you, the vaccine is one piece of it, you know, and not everybody's vaccinated yet. So you have to make sure that you continue to follow the things that have gotten us here in the first place. Right. So, and the mask wearing and social distancing and all that. We're, we're, yeah. Okay. I get it. It's getting old, but I think we're, there will come a day soon where we don't have to do that. You know. And <clears throat> current students, we've already started to collect from people who've gotten both their vaccinations and we're keeping record of that. And as we um, collect those and students continue to be vaccinated, as Sensei Mark said, they'll be other things that we start moving into cautiously, but it's coming. <laughs> right. And I think, lastly, uh, we would like to just thank everybody that has supported us over the last year. Yeah. And, you know, so we're uh, still here. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> it could, I mean, it could be different. Yeah, it you could know, be. But even recently, we've seen friends that own <clears throat> dojos in other parts of the country get shut down because they jumped the gun you know, relaxing the safety stuff too soon or whatever, and that sort of wound up in some hot water with the uh, local authorities and things. And we've been trying desperately not to, not to, 
you know, wind up there uh, because that could potentially mean the end of the dojo. So, you know, we're trying to navigate this thing and doing the best we can. But people, generally people have been amazing over the last year, so, you know, supporting the school and we've gotten so many new people. I mean, you know, in a way the quarantines, I think, motivated people to want to find activities to do or finally make a commitment to training martial arts or something, this type of thing. We've gotten about 40 newer returning students since January 1st. So thank you. Thanks to everybody who has, you know, continued to support or started to support the gym. Yes. Um, and um, we, we really appreciate that a lot. We sure so, do. Thank you so much. Um, so, and, you know, shout out to all of the other gyms that have, you know, been finding their way through this thing and including our friends at Linux Fit. Um, and uh, they get a great facility over there and, you know, check it out if you can. I'm going to have to go. Um, so that's it, I think. That is right? Yes. So Probably happy anniversary. <laughs> right. Good, bad, or indifferent. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Continue to train. Continue to know that we appreciate you all. And thank you very much. Right. And time good, start, things, good things are coming. It's time to start getting ready for when things open up fully. You know, start stepping on the gas a little bit. All right. All right. Thanks, My guys. poor dog. <laughs> he soon. wants to go outside. Ciao. <laughs> Bye.